I had to look over this a little bit so I can figure out how I'm going to draw it, find it out ready. So basically what we're going to do is start drawing the top from the top, the horizontal, the three inch. So type in three, enter, for the line. And it ask, there's actually a corner there. Now there's actually, a couple, I'll show you guys two different ways of doing this. Uh, one way is going down 1.5 and going across 1.5 and then just drawing a line connecting from this point to this point that gives me the actual angle I'm looking for or delete that let's say I, ha I had also added this line down here which is 3 so this I can just delete here and let's say I had these two uh, top 3 inch and the horse, uh, left Vertical line is three inches. Even though it, it's a bit short. Okay. Uh, the third, that second option is you can go to your uh, sham, chamfer command, which is right here or right here. Chamfer. You select both lines, like so. Oops, forgot to set it. So again, chamfer. It's asking me select lines or you give it a distance. D for distance. Again, it's a capital letter D. There is no D I that's capital. But here like method, E is capital, so you have to type an E for it, not M. Because M is already taken for multiple. So, just in case anybody's wondering, that's why those letters are capital the way they are. There's reasons for it. Okay, so you gotta type in D for distance. It's gonna ask you your first distance is one point five. And your second distance is going to be 1.5. So 1.5, enter space. It's asking about the other one. It already defaults at 1.5 because it thinks that you want a perfect, a perfect angle. So you just click enter or you can type in 1.5 again. So click enter. And now it's asking me to select the first line. And it's asking me to select the second line. Like so. And that gives me that angle. Okay. Now instead of just doing every one like that, I actually I might just do one more. But instead of doing all those, I'm just gonna use the, the mirror commands. I'm gonna select those these two lines and mirror it from the midpoint of the. Actually, sorry, uh, I meant to select these two lines. Go to mirror and use the midpoint of this line to get that. Space or enter again. Do the same thing. Select these two. Go to mirror command here or here. Oops, I selected the wrong ones again. Sorry. So I select these two. Actually, I would select all of them, all three, and just make them copy. But I want to go over that chamfer again, so I'll do that again. So I'm going to go to modify mirror and mirror it up. Enter. When you're mirroring, it's going to ask you to source objects so you can if no is default, yes is delete it. So that's also something to keep in mind if you want to delete whatever you're mirroring. That's fine. Alright, so to chamfer this, what I did again is go to my chamfer command. I typed in D for distance, 1.5, and then 1.5 again. And I selected these lines here. Like so. So I have the perfect here thing. And what I want to do next is it wants, it gives offset a quarter inch. So I'm going to go to offset command, which is over here. Or you can go to modify. Oops, where is it? Oh, right here. Sorry. Offset. Select, you're going to type in distance because it's asking to specify distance. Uh, just type in 0.25 and each, you know, offset each one. Of course, I should have done this before I, I did the mirroring. Less work, but hey, learn from your mistakes. Click enter space to get out of it, or right click enter. 
But here's the issue, issue right here. I have these lines, but they have their crossing, and that's a lot of trimming. That's just too much trimming for what I want to do. So, easy way of fixing this without going to trim, what you can do is go to, this time go to fillet. I know, kind of weird. Why would he want to fill it? Well, yeah, select fill it. So here or where you're here. And now it's asking me to pick a radius. You know, if it's, the radius is set at zero, which is exactly what I want. If I set the, set the radius at zero, it'll be a perfect square. So this is faster than trimming it, believe it or not. So again, let me actually I'm gonna do one, do one. What I did was go, I went to fill it. I made sure my radius was set at zero, and I just selected the two lines that were intersecting, and it just filled it. So that's the outer shell. The next step is we need to draw that box inside this shell. So I'm gonna use a rotate uh, rectangle command instead, a lot faster. Instead of drawing lines, rot uh, rectangle, select that. Let's select the point right here, the bottom left. And we'll go up to that midpoint of the, up here. So we do that. And of course, you have to offset again. So you offset 0.25. It's already set at 0.25, so all I have to do is click enter. But I typed it in, it's fine too. And offset it to the inside. So just click inside to offset. Okay, let me go around, make sure everybody's... So what do I want to do next is make a, a copy of this and rotate it pretty much. So I'm going to use the rotate copy command. I'm going to draw a line from corner to corner so I can get the center of my rotation. Go to my rotate command, select the outer two boxes like so. Right click or space enter. Pick the center point here, midpoint and type in C for copy and it's going to be 90 degrees no, 45 45 there we go I'm going to keep that center line because I might actually need it again so I'm just going to leave it and what I want to do next is start trimming this off so if you look at your drawing you, you would know which ones to trim I'm going to use the trim command now select the whole entire object, like so, click enter or space, or right click, and just trim what you, what it shows that it sh uh, should be trimmed off. Like so, oops, I'll fix that. Yeah, click. If, that's gonna, if that becomes an issue, uh, the line's being removed, uh, just go ahead and fix it. I best bet to fix it, and do trim again. Problem with that is, you know, that happens because if you're trimming something more than twice, and you're using two reference lines, it causes an issue and just removes the whole line. It's really almost. I have no way of explaining it to you. You'll you'll see it happen, and you you get the hang of it. So, trim is one of those. Difficult ones. Uh oh. You know what I just realized? That's weird. When I rotated my actual triangle, it's actually bigger than the first one. It's actually overhanging here. So, I guess I should have not cut corners and should have actually just drew the box. So I'm going to delete this. I'm fix that by stretching it out, selecting the blue points, stretching it. So I'm back to square one. All right, you make mistakes, you learn from them. So I recommend going back to this since that rotating copy didn't work, even though I thought it would, but that's okay. Let's copy rotate. So we're going to use as we're going to use pi line. Why well, use pi line? Because it just draws one line, and I can just offset it, and I'll be done. So I use pi line, select that pi line. It's here or here. 
it's like a line in a half a uh, half circle. And I'm just gonna draw that diamond shape. Like so. Enter a space. I'm gonna offset it 0.25 and have something like this. Now we gotta go back to that trim. And that fix that one. Okay, so should should have something like this. If not, well done. Okay, uh, yeah, let me pause this. Now that we have this, we need to do the last box inside. I was thinking of doing scaling, but that's not working because there's not a specified scale. It's smaller. You know, I can't figure out if math mathematically, so I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna use a pine line again. Select the polyline. I'm gonna go from midpoint. Uh oh. Well, I can't do that. It's not working because this one, the midpoint is off for this one. So, but if I can figure this out right, I can use a rectangle. And no, that's not. Gonna work. So, my third option is. Uh, draw that cross, crisscross X. Just S. So I'm gonna draw an X from, from this square box, and I know now I have my corners for my next box, like so. So I got all four. And I can delete this X. I don't need it anymore. I'll set this by 0.25. I have that. Next, I need this other one going from. Where is this? The other one I'm going to do is I'm going to draw reference re reference lines that are from the mid midpoint of the square box going up 0.25 on this side. What? Hold on. This doesn't look right. Did I write down the right? Oh, I wrote 0.5, that's why. Okay, line from here up 0.25. Space, enter, enter. And I'm going to make a copy of this. By, I'm going to mirror copy it. So mirror, so across, and go in one more 0.25, and mirror it once more. So, okay, once I have this, I'll use my polyline again. Go over from the exterior edge of these lines I just drew out. Hit the space for enter and offset it again. So offset, select, offset, done. Hey, my offset's on. Offset. 0.25 Something's fishing. Uh, let me. I should have looked over this first. I should have planned this out before I drew it. Uh, scratch all that. Delete that stuff if you drew it. If you copied me. Sorry about that. What I should have done was I should have just drew a polyline from the center midpoints of my exterior like so and from that point offset it by 25 but offset it out 
That's what I should have done. See, if I planned it out, I wouldn't have an issue, but I didn't. Some, sometimes rushing through things, especially in CAD, causes issues. So. Again, select the whole thing, trim, and trim what you don't need. That. And you should have swing with this. So that's this project.